I don't like places where hot stuff bubbles out of the ground, but Icelanders have no such issues. They're now almost ready to start a new experiment that'll drill right into a magma chamber. How do they know that this will not accidentally create a volcano? Let's have a look. Iceland is an island in the northern Atlantic Ocean that sits right atop the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. That's where the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates rub. Those two plates are moving away from each other at a pace of approximately 2 cm per year. As the plates move apart, hot molten rock called magma can rise to the top. This is why Iceland sees frequent volcano eruptions and on occasion gets a new island, like this one which was born in 1963. Not so surprisingly, Iceland has the largest per capita production of geothermal energy, which covers an amazing 66% of the country's primary energy needs. They also really like drilling deep holes to see what they'll find. And boy, have they found stuff. Their most ambitious plan was the Iceland Deep Drilling Project. In their first attempt in 2009, they tried to drill to a depth of 4.5 kilometers near Reykjavik, well above where they thought a magma reservoir was. However, just beyond two kilometers, they drilled into an unexpected upper part of the magma chamber. The magma plucked the lowest 20 meters of the hole and damaged the drill. Aggressive gas began bubbling up that also damaged the surface equipment. Eventually the main valve failed and the well was shut down. They drilled a second hole in 2014 and encountered the same problem. The drill tapped onto a magma chamber where they didn't expect it and acidic gases wrecked the equipment. You may wonder why they go to these troubles. The reason is, as so often, physics. You see, usually geothermal power plants work by piping water through hot layers underground. This heats up the water, which creates pressure, which can then be used to drive a turbine and create electricity. But water, or any substance really, has a limited capacity for how much energy it can transport called the enthalpy. And the enthalpy of water makes a sudden jump at about 374 degrees Celsius. I understand that very well, because at that temperature I would also jump. If it gets even hotter, the water is neither a liquid nor a gas, but both. The phase is called supercritical. This may sound a bit obscure, but you can witness supercriticality yourself in my YouTube comments. The amazing thing is now that supercritical water can carry several times more energy per mass, and the conversion to electric energy becomes more efficient. This means if you can build a geothermal plant plant with a reservoir hot enough so that the water becomes supercritical, that'll suddenly dramatically increase the power production, by some estimates up to a factor 10. Supercritical reservoirs are kind of the holy grail of geothermal energy. There have been a few attempts at supercritical wells in the past, notably in Italy and the United States, but they all ran into some sort of trouble. Either they blew up or they collapsed or both. And this is what the Icelanders were trying to do with their deep drilling, creating a supercritical well. You might think that hitting upon magma and wrecking their equipment would have discouraged them, but not so. Yes, they had these nasty gases and their drill got stuck in the magma, but it's not like they accidentally created a volcano. Basically, they concluded it wasn't as bad as they thought it'd be. So they're doing it again, but this time on purpose. It's called the Kravler Magma magma test bed. They want to drill two new holes, each about two kilometers deep, first nearby and then into the magma chamber that they know to be there. The drilling for the first borehole is supposed to start by 2026. It'll not drill right into the magma, but just close to the chamber to measure temperature and pressure. They also want to bring up samples from down there. The second new borehole will then actually drill into the magma chamber to test the possibility for a supercritical geothermal power plant. Isn't this kind of dangerous? Yes, it is. But they know from the earlier drilling that while the magma chamber is the pressure isn't high enough to accidentally create a volcano. At least not unless the conditions down there have dramatically changed in the past 10 years. Honestly, I wouldn't go anywhere near that thing. 
The project has both scientific and technological purposes. They want to study the magma and what it's doing under the earth when it's not bubbling to the surface. And according to the project's website, the purpose of this endeavor is an exploration into the utilization of super hot magma, geothermal energy and fluids that will revolutionize our energy landscape. Yes, and a bit of magma might even revolutionize your landscape. According to the website New Civil Engineer, the project management's now seeking funding of £79 million for the first stage. So if you have a few million to spare, maybe they'll send you a fresh magma sample in return. Geothermal energy is a rather obvious source of energy. The energy that's contained in the deeper layers of Earth is staggering. Geoscientists have estimated that the total energy reserves in the upper 10 kilometers of Earth's crust would be enough to power the entire world population for several hundred million years. That sounds amazing, but the problem is that in most places, finding hotspots underground is difficult. And drilling into them is not only difficult, but also expensive, really expensive. It's also not irrelevant to note that it isn't so uncommon that the gases which are released from underground during the operation of a geothermal power plant contain carbon dioxide. On average, carbon dioxide emissions are low for the currently existing geothermal power plants, though there are some examples in Turkey where geothermal power plants actually emit more carbon dioxide than a typical gas power plant. However, how much they would emit with deeper drilling or new extraction techniques, nobody knows. What all of this means is that geothermal energy is a good solution in some places and we can almost certainly get more out of it than we presently do. But in most places it's difficult and expensive and that makes it extremely unlikely that it'll ever become our global main energy supply. And I for one am grateful for it because I don't like hot stuff bubbling out of the ground. I've totally noticed that some of you are making fun of me for using NordVPN because some YouTubers say normal people don't need VPN channels. Well, I don't believe everything that YouTubers say and personally I very much adhere to the philosophy of better safe than sorry. If you share that philosophy, you might be interested in today's special offer from our sponsor NordVPN. NordVPN is an app that makes your internet connection ultra secure. You install it on your phone or laptop and use it to create a safe connection. With NordVPN, no one can spy on your data or track your whereabouts. And it also comes with a threat protection that keeps you safe from malware, trackers and malicious ads. It doesn't just protect your privacy, it also makes your life easier. You know how some content is blocked for users in certain locations? For example, if you're in Europe, a lot of pages in the United States have become inaccessible in recent years because they don't comply with European privacy regulations. That can get really annoying. But well, NordVPN has more than 5,000 servers all over the world. Just pick a server in the United States problem solved. If you use our custom link nordvpn.com slash Sabine or the coupon code Sabine, you'll get a better deal and I can really recommend it. I found NordVPN super easy to use. It installs with just a few clicks and hasn't caused me any trouble. You can combine it with a password keeper called NordPass and a secure platform to store and share files called NordLocker. If you get them all together, you'll get a better price and they all have a 30-day money-back guarantee. To make use of our special offer, go to nordvpn.com slash Sabine or use the coupon code Sabine. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.